How's it going everyone? This is Sean here from Scale Model Car Guy channel and today's video is going to be a comparison of the Sunbeam Alpine Tiger uh, the Get Smart Car, you know, the uh, 70s issue or 80s issues, Matchbox I think it was Matchbox, Lesney, something like that uh, when they owned AMT and then the uh, round two version All right, but before I get this video started I want to thank all my subscribers all my old subscribers all my new subscribers and Guys if uh, you're listening to this video and you're not subscribed and you watch all the time man It's free hit that uh, like hit the bell if you want notifications I Always hit the like I always hit the like on everybody that I watch uh just hit the likes, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever makes your world go around. Like I said, subscribing's free, don't cost you nothing. Uh, it helps this channel out if you do, uh, to bring you more content if you like watching this. Uh, if you always want to help out, whatever, you know, I always leave my uh, email in the description below. And if for any time I mention anybody in this video or any of my videos i always try to leave a link to them in the description uh at the bottom of the video and uh so yeah uh please like share and subscribe guys and i really appreciate all my new subscribers all my old subscribers loyal subscribers uh really appreciate you guys if it wasn't for y'all i would not have a channel all right let me shut up and show you what i got going on all right, I have three model kits here from uh, the 60s, I think 70s or early 80s, somewhere around here in this. And then this in here is the uh, sometime 2000-something, whatever, teens, whenever, but the uh, round two. All right, these two right here are Tigers. Tigers had the V8 engine in them. And this one right here is the original Get Smart. Sunbeam and the show the original show the car was a tiger But in this model kit, it's actually an alpine and the reason why they had to use the alpine Is because the machine gun sticking up out of the hood and all that they needed room under the hood So underneath the hood they couldn't actually have the v8 underneath here and I'll show y'all here in a minute and uh, if y'all recognize this car This is one of my favorite models of all time and uh, this is my logo for my channel. And this is the one I picked because, like I said, my favorite car of all times, model kit. And uh, I loved this show growing up, watching reruns and stuff like that back in the 70s and 80s. I always loved Maxwell Smart. Even the uh, remake was all right. It you know, wasn't like the original show, but nothing is. So let's take a look at this box right here. You can see right there you got Maxwell Smart and several different. There's this woman that was in the show. Uh, here's the side of the box art. Beautiful box art. You know it's old. I think it's from like around 1967 or so. It was $2 when new. You can see right there as seen on NBC TV. There's the side of it. A little, little scuff on it right there. You can see you got the the machine gun, little flaps that open up on the the uh, bonnet or the trunk or the not trunk uh, deck or a hood. You got a hand grenade shifter. It looks like you got an antenna, you got a telephone, and you got these little push bars that come out. I guess whatever on the uh, bumpers. All right. Let's move these over to the side real quick so we can get in here and check this one out. Let me readjust this a little bit. Let's open her up. Okay, first of all we're going to do, we're going to run over the instructions. TVs get smart sunbeam. Alright guys, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is the big difference in the kits with all the other accessories, of course. This is your four-cylinder Alpine engine. 
you got your dual carburetors, little SU carburetors. That is one of the main differences. Like I said, his car in real life on the TV show was a Tiger, which would have had probably the 260 V8 in it. But AMT had a dilemma, I guess, when they were doing this model kit that they could not stuff the V8 in there and then have all the little options underneath the hood and stuff like that because it was posing a problem. So that's the reason why they had to put the little four-cylinder in there. Step number two is the interior. Now you can see on the interior, you got your telephone. He always used in the sh show. There's your grenade gear shift. And then let's go to part three. There's your body. Of course, this one had white wall tires to where the other issues don't. Then you go to your underneath section. Your rear end, all that, that should be about the same as the other cars. And then your suspension, all that should be about the same too. Uh, you got a dummy muffler here. Uh, like I said, you know, it was a dummy muffler. Because this car would actually be in a V8. But it being the single muffler because the four cylinder. Alright. Here's the difference in the cars from the others. You had the... Uh, rear bumper with the bumper guards that stick out you had your license plate with the body numbers or the numbers that would change then underneath the hood you can see right here this is the reason why they could not put the v8 in and that's your machine gun that comes up out of the hood and there's your little flaps that's what those flaps are for then you had the bumper extension for the bumper guards on the and that's your big difference between this kit and those other two kits. And then two, this kit right here, you can only build stock in the way it comes for the movie. Or the TV show, not movie. Sorry about that. Uh, so, and the other kits have racing options in them. This is the original plastic. Beautiful, beautiful plastic. You see right here, there's no emblems on the side of it. It don't say Alpine. It don't say Tiger. They got rid of all that for the side of it. Beautiful. There's no flash on this. You can see that I got the engine right here in a bag because I took the engine off the trees and I resin cast that engine. That way I can have the engine for my other builds. So, I'm not going to go in depth on it, but there it is. Uh, get these out of here. There's that beautiful white plastic. If y'all can see the detail on it or not. Let's say there we go. Let's move this one out of the way. There's your little... For your uh, hood, your flaps. There's the telephone handle. Here's your hood. It's got the hole open for the flaps. Radiator and suspension pieces. You got your little jack thing that brings the uh, uh, machine gun up. The lances. You got your pipes. Headlights. Or headlights for rounds. Here's your, uh, you got disc brakes in the front, drums in the back. There's your dash, very cool dash. Let's see. Here's some loose parts. You got seats, you got the machine gun in here. You got the telephone. You got your headlights and your glass. And then here is your chrome tree, stock hub caps. There's your license plate thing with the numbers that roll around. There's your gauges, steering wheel, grill. And then 
you got four of these stock tires with the white walls. Let me pause this and get the other one ready. All right, guys. This is the second issue. And it's in a totally different box. And as you can see right here, it is the V8 Tiger. And this one's in race trim. You can see right there, 1979. 1979. You have your big old fender flares. Kind of like a roll bar type thing there and here is your side and it shows the tiger trim so it should have the tiger trim on it you can see this is a matchbox when matchbox owned amt so oh there we go there's another big difference molded in bright yellow and as you can see, it has the Tiger emblems and crest, 260 V8, right there, to where the other one did not have none of this on there. So there's that. You can see the V8. There's your differences right there. You got your V8. You got one of your fender flares, the rest of them are in the box. There's your rear end. There's the other part of your rear end. And from the looks of it, this is a this has got a two different rear ends in it. I'm gonna have to let a totally different rear end than from the other rear end. There's your uh mini light wheels. And what's funny about these wheels, it shows like a five lug wheel maybe no it's got four lugs but that's an awful weird looking lug pattern on that i don't know if y'all can see it they're crazy looking there's your suspension radiator there's your dual exhaust now you see the dual exhaust come in different mufflers than on the other kit there's your hood, solid hood, no opening for the machine gun. And there's all that right there. You got a air dam for the front. You got all your loose parts and different tires. These tires, you had your wider tires. You had these little skinny tires, but no white walls no more. So there's your difference right there. And then, this is still sealed, so I'm going to leave it that way. But you got your V8 stuff on the tree now. You don't have your... The bumpers don't have the extensions on them no more for the, the bumper brackets to come out. Two totally different cars. Let's look at the... Here's the decals. They're very yellow, but probably still usable, maybe. Maybe. All right. Here is your parts. What's all on your parts? There is your V8 engine. You can see right there. Interior is totally different. There's no more telephone. You just got a real regular shifter on it instead of a grenade shifter. Uh, your suspension, so your rear end is a little bit different than the other rear end was. Uh, you got your exhaust. So, yeah. It's a little bit different beast than the other. Then you got this piece that comes out here to make that back. Whatever they did to the racing version there. Then you got your little thing right there. I'd say kind of like a roll bar. Your front air dam. Alright guys, that's the difference on this one. Now, let me pause this out and open up the other one. All right, number three. This one here is beautiful box art. This is the Tiger. And this one is 
the uh, round two version. Beautiful decal sheet. I think I've already robbed some of the decals out of that for another car that I did. You can see pretty much the same car as the yellow one over there. Just different striping package. You know, here's the side of the box here. You got one side like that, and you got one side like that. There's your 260 Ford V8. You got your mini lights. You got your target style top. You got your air dam fenders. So this kit really is going to be the exact same kit as the yellow one over there, except for decals. And this one will be molded in white. Let's oh yes, sir, it is. Molded in white. So there's, and it's still got the scripts on it, you can see, to where the original Get Smart car does not, don't even have this emblem on it. It's totally smooth on the Get Smart car. Uh, guys, there's really not a lot to show you on this exact same tree as the other one, the yellow one. That's why I'm not even going to open it up. You can see all clearly it's just molded in white. Everything is exactly the same. There's no use of showing you the parts. I showed you all the yellow parts. The only difference is this right here. The box art changed. The instructions changed. And this one's cheaper than that yellow one. And uh, dang sure both of them's cheaper than this one right here. That's, that's a very expensive kit. You can see. Instructions hadn't changed a lot, but they have changed. And let's look at these uh, decals. You know what? Maybe I did not rob these decals. I, maybe I was thinking of another kit. So there are the decals. That's the difference between the yellow one and this one. Hope y'all like my comparison. Uh, like I said, I resin cast the, uh, the Alpine engine. That way I can make these cars... Sports Car Club of America type SCAA whatever racers. And I can put the four-cylinder Alpine engine in it and make them Alpines instead of the V8s. Buy a couple more, do the V8s. It don't matter. You can do them all different ways. But uh, very cool kits. I love the British cars. British cars are some of my favorite cars ever. I own the MGs. Uh, and it's all the same company back in the day. They ain't no more, but back in the day they were. Uh, like I said, this is the car on my, my, uh, my logo. So if you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe, guys. Bye. Maybe.